Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel and in this video we will be making a Java Spring Boot application uh, with Gradle as the build agent and uh, MongoDB as the database and uh, let us let me start with the build.gradle file so in the build.gradle file I have added plugins uh, for Spring Boot and your dependency management as well and in the dependencies I have added uh, these five uh, implementations that will be crucial for uh, our entire Spring Boot application and so after setting your build.gradle files uh, you can move to the main and in the main uh, i have uh, annotated uh, two files basically a uh, spring boot application and component scan both are the core for setting up your uh, spring boot application and by running this particular uh, command you can start off your application so let's move to the controller part of it and yeah as you can see that uh, i have created a user auth controller uh, with uh, the annotation as rest uh, controller and i have mapped it to the endpoint of slash api slash user uh, so this is really necessary to map your apis to the endpoint and in this i have created a post api uh, with the endpoint of sign up and in this particular uh, function what i am doing is i am taking the input as register user uh, DTO that will be basically the JSON that we are inputting and as you can see in the register user uh, I have two uh, strings that are email and password so this will be sent via a JSON request and it will be coming to this particular uh, function and in this function uh, yeah so here I have auto wired uh, user services so this is basically an implementation that uh, interface that I have built and this interface will be implemented uh, in the user service implementation so coming back to the user auth so what does user auth basically does is is filter out the email it gets the email it gets the password and it sends to the implementation file so over here uh, it's pretty simple to see that uh, when once the sign up api is being called this function will be called and it will be checking the database that i have made over there the repository i have auto wired it as well so in this repository i have set it to mongodb and it is searching by find by email so it makes sense uh, that first we will be getting into the code and it will be checking whether this email exists or not so if the email already exists so it will be showing a uh, user already exists so because yeah it, it does make sense like you should not let the user to sign up once it has already been signed up and the data already exists so apart from that the next thing that comes is when if the user does not uh, exist in the database so it will go to this uh, user class and so this is a document that I have made collections in the user collection users collection so it has an ID uh, email and a password so ID has an ID annotation to it so that means that it will be automatically generated by the MongoDB and uh, the email has been indexed uh, and it has given a unique uh, value as well so that we maintain that email is unique in the entire DB so coming to it uh, will user repository dot save basically saves the database uh, saves the particular user in the database and here is the return command that we will be making so as you can you will be uh, like a bit perplexed like why I have returned it in a command format so basically I wanted a message and is successful to be done so that's why I have made my custom uh, response file so it will be returning something like that so uh, apart from that uh, i have set up uh, applications dot property so here uh, whenever you are setting up your uh, mongodb so you will be getting a url uh, whether it's on local host or you have made a cluster on the compass uh, mongodb atlas so you will be getting a url so here you will be putting this particular url so let's run this application it's already running right now and i'll show you a demo out of it yeah uh, so right now let's refresh the db so this is the db uh, that will be there and as you can see that it's empty and yeah so as i have already run it okay so i'll run it again so yes so it says that users re uh, successfully registered and the message is true so let's check if the data has come in our database so yeah as you can see that email and password has been set over here so let's try it one more time as we have written a certain logic to check whether the user exists or not so yeah now you cannot sign up technically because uh, the user already exists and the success message is false so yes so this is the basic uh, application that we have built so it has to be enhanced a bit so as as you can see that right now if i pass uh, don't even pass an email id uh, and it's just 
a username for example a name so then also it will be signing up successfully so uh, just stay tuned to the next video we'll be making it a bit more complex and adding a lot of validations to it and making up the next sign in api as well thank you and hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah do subscribe to the channel if you like the video